Good evening, everyone. I am Darius Sefna. We start with the Ohio softball team as they are currently in the middle of their three game road series with the number one team in the conference, Miami. The first game has already been played, signed, sealed, and delivered, but that's not in the Bobcats' favor. Miami secured a 10 to 4 victory with eight different players getting in on the score sheet. Ohio did have a 4 to 1 lead heading into the bottom of the third inning, but Miami's Holly Blaska and Kate Kobayashi each tallied two runs as the Red Hawks climbed out of the early deficit. It was also an uncharacteristic day for Bobcat pitcher Skip Miller, who had a season-high eight errors. The second match is currently in the third inning with Miami leading 12-5. The Battle of the Bricks concludes tomorrow afternoon from Oxford with first pitch scheduled for one o'clock. And it's that time to get your peanuts and Cracker Jacks ready as Ohio baseball returns to Athens for another conference clash. Head coach Craig Moore and his crew begin a three-game series against the Central Michigan Chippewas on Saturday afternoon. The Bobcats plan to make amends after conceding 18 runs in a loss to Northern Kentucky earlier this week. Ohio has given up about 13 runs per game in their last four outings, but Central Michigan has struggled offensively this year as they rank second to last in the MAC in overall batting percentage. The opening game of this weekend series begins in a doubleheader on Saturday with first pitch scheduled for noon. These two teams finish the series with a Sunday matinee set for 1 o'clock. And here's a quick rundown of the MAC standings. The Bobcats hope to climb out of that seventh seed if they can get some wins in their back pocket over the weekend. Ohio has an even conference record of 3-3 three and three, while they sit at 7-11 and 11 overall. Central Michigan sits with a 1-5 and five record in the MAC and have won just four of 18 road games so far this season. And finally, we head to swimming and diving where first year swimmer Zita Zok made history. The freshman from Hungary set a school record for the 200 yard freestyle at this year's NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. Zok clocked in with a time of one minute and 45 seconds, breaking the record she had set at the MAC Swimming and Diving Championships earlier this month by nine tenths of a second. Zo continues her tournament action tomorrow with a 100-yard freestyle, another event in which she holds the school record. Prelims are scheduled for 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm Darius Sethna in sports, and I'll toss it back to the desk.